Hey everybody, this is Gordon Goodwin, and we want to thank you for picking God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. <laughs> for your Halloween program. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, this chart uh, was actually written uh, early, way, like years before we ever played it. By the way, I'm sitting here with the great trumpet player Wayne Bergeron. You recognize him? How you doing? Yeah, baby. Hear that applause? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and um, I sketched it out right around the time I wrote Sing Sang Sung and Bach Two-Part Invention. Like so, you know, before our first record, yeah. I believe, and um, then it just kind of got filed, and and I didn't ever orchestrate it, and then we started to uh, do some Christmas shows and need some material, so I got it out and, and flushed it out and changed a few things, and and actually it's a fun straight ahead version of the yeah. chart. Um, it starts off with a acapella saxophone solely. <laughs> Bear with me, okay? Oh, yeah. you know, well, let's just talk about trumpets. Like nothing, there's nothing more fascinating than a <laughs> saxophone corral. Look, you know? it, it, may have, it may have nuance that you you know don't yet understand. Okay, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> uh, but really, the saxes need to. Um, there's not a lot. It just says freely at the beginning. So when we play it in the band, we do take a lot of liberties with the tempo. You know, we'll speed up and slow down. And you should look for places to do that. So this is just a strict metric reading of it. Find places for the music to breathe. You know, and and it really means that you as a section and the first alpha player need to f decide what that's going to be, and everyone needs to listen and follow that guy. So this thing, um, you know, comes to life, because before you know it, we're into the swing section at bar 25, mm -hmm. and then it's pretty much you know, bashing away <laughs> as usual. <laughs> you know, now w this tempo in here is usually I think. Um, here's the thing: finding a tempo for this, I, I go to after the. Uh, um, solos, which is uh, what's that bar right now? Uh, um, bar one twenty one. Yeah, it's it's got it's got a, a it breaks down to a, a smaller section, and the licks get a little bit tricky. Is it one twenty one? Yeah, I don't. I'm not looking at that part. Here, so. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's actually the part I play. Yeah. 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 yeah one twenty nine. Right. So that's on the second trumpet. We it is. Play yeah. second trumpet you play it? second on this? Yeah, Dan Fenero played Dan Fenero played trumpet. Okay, good. He sounds awesome on this track, actually. Yeah, I was kind of carrying him through this. It's nice this. to have a lead trumpet place like playing in yeah. tune and in time. You know. Yeah, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I was carrying him through this chart, man. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's call him up and see yeah. what he says about let's it. Let's get him on the phone here. But th this is where I find the tempo. Because if I count it too fast... At the beginning, because you can go da 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 da, and all of a sudden you hear do da 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 too fast, yeah. right? So I, I usually use uh, 129 when I'm figuring out how, what, how fast this chart's going to go. And um, um, there's one little trap that I'm going to, because uh, we fall into it every single time. Well, we only play it. We play once it once a year, a year I know. <laughs> so we're calling to do it twice now. <laughs> just, <laughs> well, to send off into the solo section All right. of our 95. So we're going um, in 94. <laughs> then the solo starts. Uh, it says, what does it say, though? Writing so small. Horns play bar 95 uh, through 100 as send off for each solo. I think a lot of my guys look at it and think, well, that's the background section for right. the soloist. But actually, it's the send-off. Make a note of that, if you would. Yeah. yeah. If you're paying attention, that kind of thing doesn't happen. But Yeah, that's true. In our band, as you know, the whole attention span thing. A lot, it's of, kind distracting, of, <laughs> a lot of distractions going on, you know. But um, anyway, there, there's, a, there's a lot of... A lot of uh, I really like this chart, uh, maybe because we'll play it once a year. You yeah. Know? But, it uh, seems fresh. <laughs> <laughs> We hit the bar 165. There's a shotgun key change. That's, That's a good a stuff right there. That the, shake. Yeah. That's tr good trumpet stuff. Right Let's there. talk about that shake. So if you're a young high school band and you can't do that lip trill up there, what do you what do you recommend? How should they handle that? Well, I mean, if you if you can't do lip trill, you need to do something with that note dynamically. It could be changed to a fall. Let's say a guy's got a high D, a good trumpet's got a good, pretty good high D, but uh -huh. he can't shake it. You know, it could be that. Yeah, yeah. And it was, you know, it's not what you originally intended, but... Or maybe it, maybe a sforzando. Or, or, or something, some kind of <laughs> shape. <laughs> yeah, you know, something like that. Because obviously the, the shake was to give it energy, so um, that'd be okay to do something like that, a fall or forzando or... Mm -hmm. 
a little attitude with some vibrato or something or you know whatever but the thing is if you're going to be playing trumpet music like this you got to get your lip trill going right yeah lip trill lip, lip, lip trills and shakes that's kind of you know in our repertoire so yeah yeah all right okay well um if you, we, we actually the big fat man did record this chart and it was it's a little bit hard to find it's on a looney tunes uh uh soundtrack I think it's this thing called Bah Humduck with Daffy Duck. It's a cartoon we did. Um, you can still find it around. Or else call Wayne. I'll give you his number. He'll, yeah. he'll burn you a I'll copy. I'll burn you a copy for yeah. free. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. As well as some of Gordon's other CDs yeah. and things. If you want to learn more about uh, the great Wayne Bergeron. Um, excuse me, sir. It's Dan Fernero on the phone. Oh, Fernero. All right. I'll okay, over. Oh. Um. Yeah, hey, Dan. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, well, no, it's, he's trashing you again, and the camera's rolling. I mean, I was just defending his honor here, talking about what a great shake he did on this thing. You know what? You know, I, I actually did the shake. <laughs> <laughs> I overdubbed it later. Dan doesn't know about that. Talk to Dave. He doesn't know about that. Yeah. Sorry, we'll if you want to learn more about Wayne Bergeron, <laughs> you need to go to his website. <laughs> WayneBergeron.com. Or more about the big fat band at GordonGoodwin.com. Thanks again for choosing God Rescue Mary Gentleman for your smart music program, and I uh, hope you have fun. This is Gordon. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>